on the either the TPU or maybe the NVIDIA GPU side, how does TenStorrent, you think, or the ideas underlying it, it doesn't have to be TenStorrent, just mm -hmm. this kind of graph-focused, uh, graph-centric hardware, deep learning-centric hardware beat NVIDIA's? Do, do you think it's possible for it to basically overtake NVIDIA? Sure. What's what's that process look like? What's that uh, journey look like, you think? Well, GPUs were built to run shader programs on millions of pixels, not to run graphs. Yes. So there's a hypothesis that says the way the graphs you know, are built is going to be really interesting to, to be inefficient on computing this. And then the, the primitives is not a SIMD program, it's matrix multiply convolution. And then the data manipulations are, are fairly extensive about like how do you do a fast transpose with a program? I don't know if you've ever written a transpose program. They're ugly and slow, but in hardware you can do really well. Like I'll give you an example. So when GPU accelerators first started doing triangles, like so you have a triangle which maps on the set of pixels. Mm -hmm. So you build it's very easy, straightforward to build a hardware engine that'll find all those pixels. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of weird because you walk along the triangle to get to the edge. And then you have to go back down to the next row and walk along. And then you have to decide on the edge if the line of the triangle is like half on the pixel. Mm -hmm. What's the pixel color? Because it's half of this pixel and half the next one. That's called rasterization. Because you're saying that could be done in uh, in hardware. No, just say, that's an example of that operation as a software program is really bad. I've written a program that did rasterization. The hardware that does it has actually less code than the software program that does it, and it's way faster, right? So there are certain times when the abstraction you have, rasterize a triangle, mm -hmm. you know, execute a graph, you know, components of a graph, the, the right thing to do in the hardware-software boundary is for the hardware to naturally do it. And so the GPU is really optimized for the rasterization of triangles. <laughs> well, no, that's just, well, like in a modern, you know, that's a small piece of modern GPUs. Mm -hmm. What they did is that they still rasterize triangles when you're running a game, but for the most part, most of the computation in the area, the GPU is running shader programs, but they're single threaded programs on pixels, not graphs. I have to be honest and say, I don't actually know the the math behind shader, uh, sh shading and lighting and all that kind of stuff. I don't know what. They look like little simple floating point programs or complicated ones. You can have 8,000 instructions in a shader program. But I, I don't have a good intuition why it could be parallelized so easily. No, it's because you have 8 million pixels in every single. So when you have a light, right, Yeah. that comes down, the angle, you know, the amount of light, like, like say this is a line of pixels across this table, right? The amount of light on each pixel is subtly different. And each right? pixel is responsible for figuring out what Figuring it out. So that pixel says, I'm this pixel. I know the angle of the light. I know the occlusion. I know the color I am. Mm. Like every single pixel here is a different color. Every single pixel gets a different amount of light. Every single pixel has a subtly different translucency. So to make it look realistic, the solution was you run a separate program on every pixel. See, but I thought there's like reflection from all over the place. Is it every pixel? Yeah, but there is. So, so you build a reflection map, which also has some pixelated thing. Mm -hmm. And then when the pixel is looking at the reflection map, it has to calculate what the normal of the surface is. Mm -hmm. And it does it per pixel. By the way, there's bow loads of hacks on that. You know, like you may have a lower resolution light map, reflection map. There's all these, you know, hacks they do. But at the end of the day, it's per pixel computation. And it so happened that you can map uh, graph-like computation onto the this pixel-centric computation. You could do floating point programs on convolutions and matrices. 